Did you know I just got promoted? Now I'm saddled with so much responsibility, but that means I'm financially stable. <laughs> Let's see how to add a custom horse armor to Minecraft. Alright, we found ourselves back in Intelligent once more, and in this tutorial we're going to add custom horse armor to the game. And of course, those puns, you're very welcome. <laughs> well, regardless of what it might be, inside of our mod items class, we're just going to jump right in. We're just going to copy over the titanium helmet right here. We're gonna rename this to titanium underscore horse underscore armor, and then same right here, titanium horse underscore armor. And this is, of course, a horse armor item right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this. It also takes three parameters. The first parameter is an integer, which is going to be 16 in this case. And the second one is a string called titanium. Actually, it is titanium. There you go. The other one I'm not going to pronounce, you know, just in case. No, however, the um, this is actually this is actually very important that this is all written correctly. Right, and we'll actually go into the horse armor item by middle mouse button clicking on this. And we're going to see something very interesting here. And that is this new resource location, which basically creates or takes a look at the textures entity horse armor, horse underscore armor, and then the identifier.png or the, well, the 3D armor, right? So this is basically where the 3D armor texture has to be placed. And this, of course, means that this one here basically says, okay, this needs to be called horse underscore armor underscore titanium. We're basically just going to go through, first of all, the normal JSON files, and then we're going to add the sort of 3D texture as well. So first of all, let's actually add the translation, because that's always the one I forget the most. There you go. And then, of course, the model file as well. So this is, of course, all available for you in the description below, GitHub repository or individual gists. This is a normal item model JSON file, and then the texture pretty much is just a normal texture as well. However, now comes the, well, the 3D texture, and that actually needs to be under assets, and then right-click new directory called Minecraft. You might have heard of that before. And then instead of there, we're gonna have a textures folder. And then instead of there, we're gonna have a new directory called entity. And then instead of there, we're gonna have a new directory called horse. And then inside of there, we're gonna have a new directory called armor. Once again, only with an O, so our uh, British friend, sadly, that is just how it's going to be. And then we'll copy over the file here as well. So the horse underscore armor underscore titanium dot PNG, pretty much exactly what is being written in here, right? So we've basically recreated this, you know, uh, path that this needs to be at. And this needs to be under the Minecraft namespace because this resource location, you know, doesn't have our mod ID in it. So we actually need to put this under the Minecraft namespace. But no worries whatsoever, that is still going to work totally fine. And one last thing I wanted to mention is the protection here. So we can just take a look at this. So if I middle mouse button click here, you can see that, you know, iron has five protection, golden has seven and diamond has 11. And this is why I made the 16 because of course, titanium horse armor, that's going to be really protective, right? Now, after everything here has been added, Let's see if it works. All right, we found ourselves in Minecraft, and as you can see, the armor has been added to the game, and luckily we have a already tamed horse right in front of us, so let's just add the armor there, and there it is. As you can see, the titanium armor has been added. I do want to say, if I do say so myself, I actually do quite like the way that it looks. Um, I don't know. I really, I really do enjoy it, but um, yeah, that's pretty much how you add horse armor to the game. Right, that would already be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would of course appreciate a like, and don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. So yeah.